G'day bowlers, Gary Barry here. Let's talk ball safety. We do believe that bowling should always be lots of fun, but we cannot ignore the possible dangers of hurling a heavy ball around. Now, the easiest way to prevent hurting yourself and others is to choose the right ball, starting with the weight. Adults and big kids alike, please supervise your little ones while they try lifting different kids' balls from the rack. This goes for everyone. If a ball is too heavy, please put it back because you don't want to accidentally drop it on your foot. I did this once and had to bowl on crutches for a month, which is actually very hard. You want the weight of the ball to be comfortable enough to carry around in one hand like a big bowl of delicious fries. If you aren't sure which ball to pick, ask one of the wonderful staff members and they will be more than happy to help you find the perfect ball. Once you have the right weight, make sure the holes in the ball fit your fingers. Not too tight, but not too loose. If you have little fingers, choose a ball with little holes. And if you have bigger fingers, choose a ball with bigger holes. After you have bowled, the ball will come back to you through the ball return machine. As exciting as it is to bowl again, please wait until the ball has come to a complete stop as it could really hurt your fingers. Mine got jammed once and I couldn't play laser tag for six months. So if you love sneaking around a glow in the dark room as much as I do, you'll be careful. Let's look out for each other.